Jim, in that video regarding your journey and paralleling it to Kanye's journey, and you said, yo, this is me two years in to giving my life to Jesus, and I'm still on stage cussing, I'm still wrestling with mm -hmm. my flesh, and you said, people... Ruslan. My name is Ruslan, and we have a free How to Study the Bible course, more context, and ultimately more application for life change. You can go to mastermydevo.com or hit the link in the description. And we have a free three-day challenge for those who are thought leaders, experts, pastors, entrepreneurs looking to jump into the YouTube space. I'm doing three days of free coaching in a private Facebook group. There's gonna be homework, all kinds of good stuff like that. Make sure you hit the link in the description. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we have the man, the myth, the legend, my brother, Dayton. Yeah. You're from Jersey, Jersey yeah. um, but you also frequented EO Dub and in yeah, the week, in York, yeah. longest running open mic yeah. in New York. And I, I actually did a show, showcase there, I think like 2008 as the breaks. What years were you kind of frequenting that, that area? Shoot, from, from about 2003 uh -huh. to 2007 when I got oh, okay. saved. Dope. Yeah. And, that, and so uh, I remember like meeting Freestyle Fam there. There's like a oh, video yeah, of us yeah, freestyling yeah. with them dudes. I love that you recently posted a clip of that yeah. on your Instagram. And, you, and it was in context to Kanye uh, struggling this year and the Drink Champs interview. And you posted a video of you <laughs> at EO Dub yeah. rapping and cussing and, and the whole bit. You guys should go watch it on Dayton's, uh, on, on, on your Instagram. Yeah. But, um, and, you, and you used that moment in time to highlight how you had started your journey with Jesus, but you weren't fully surrendered to Jesus yeah. yet. Can you talk about that intersection of like, I'm on this faith journey and I'm in, I'm following God. However, life is messy and there's a lot I'm working through. And, and, and what that was like for you. Yeah, so just, you know, when you've, and I'm not making an excuse for it, but just uh, as you, you give your life to the Lord and you've had all these hopes and these dreams, I, I put all my eggs in one basket and betted everything on this thing. On it making, was, making it I'm as making a rapper. It, yeah. And it was my life and it was all I knew how to do yeah so to expect and god is fully capable of doing so mm -hmm. but just in my situation like to expect me to just change within an instant mm -hmm. all the way around is almost to i have to relearn how to walk mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. um so it was hard to let go uh, the Lord was definitely not like, okay, you good here. I would feel convicted. Mm. I would, I was battling God. Mm. I, every sermon, they could have preached about apples and oranges. And yeah. the sermon to me sounded like, give me a gift. Mm. Give me a, everything was like, give me. Because you, you were compartmentalizing at this I point? I was compartmentalizing. Okay. I was trying to justify like, yo, well, okay, God, I'll, um, I'll stop like, all right, you saw me there cursing, but then it, 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 I started to clean things up. Okay, I'll stop cursing, mm. and now FYL, the group was F your life. Mm. Uh, the FYL, I'll change it to Father and Young Listeners or something <laughs> like that. That'll be my version, yeah. and I, I'll stop cursing, and I'll just say the N-word. Okay. And then, you know, I'll, uh, then it went from, all right, I'll stop saying the N-word, I'll stop killing people on records, but, uh, you know, I'll just rap for the girls. Yeah. Like, I yeah. just kept trying to give God, like, I don't want to fully give it yeah, up. Yeah. So let me give you this little bit. Let yep. me give you this little yep. bit until, you know, finally I just couldn't deal with the conviction. And then <laughs> as I grew yeah. in the word, your desires begin to change. Yeah. And it's easier to let go of things. So I yeah. just was like, yo, God, I'm done. So you had this gem on that Instagram video. And you guys should really be following Dayton on Instagram. But you had this gem in that video regarding your journey and paralleling it to Kanye's journey. And you said, yo, this is me two years in to give my life to Jesus and I'm still on stage cussing. I'm still wrestling with mm -hmm. my flesh. And you said people become born again, but they need to be taught how to live again. Yeah. Can Amen. you talk about that? Hey Amen. I really needed to be taught how to live again. Mm. I, I, um, man, to, 
when hip hop is all you know, and even what you do for leisure, how you hang out, how mm -hmm, you chill, mm -hmm. you smoke, you drink, you go to the club, mm -hmm. what do you do when this is all you know? Mm. I, I, you, I really had to learn how to live again. Mm. I didn't come from a, a religious background. We didn't go to church, you know what I'm saying? So that that's just what I mean, and, and people, may be so far removed that they, they forget that. Yeah. I, I observe this man and I see somebody and having some experience in the music industry, I can sympathize to a degree. Mm -hmm. It doesn't justify it, yeah. but I can see why. Um, yo, this man has been living this way for 20, 20 years, years, bro. Yeah, yeah. He talks this way, he moves this yeah. way, he acts this way. Have patience for yeah. my man. Yeah. I, I thank God that the people that God sent into my life, sent alongside me, had patience. Yeah. Lavoisier had patience. Yeah. My man Lionel had patience. Yeah. They weren't like, you need to stop, da 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 da, da. And They didn't expect me to be sanctified, super saved in, in, in a day. Yeah. They were just like, yo, give us this day our daily bread. Yo, date and read your word, pray. Yeah. And the Lord did his thing, bro. That's beautiful. Was there ever a time where you then kind of take the legalistic side where you had to, pur not legalistic, but like really purge and consecrate? Or did you always kind of have this like balance of, is this is a process? Um, man, uh, I don't, man, I don't think I ever was legalistic. Uh -huh. Um, and I definitely, definitely wasn't like, yo, this is a, a process. Mm -hmm. I didn't have that mindset. Mm -hmm. Now in hindsight, I look back, I, I was like, yo, I got to get with it mm. um, and stop playing games. Mm. So, you know, the, the that's the Holy Spirit's work. Mm. He had me on that type of time. Yeah. Um, I was hard on myself for sure. Yeah. Once I started to really, you know, walk this thing out, then it's just like, yo, if I if I looked at a, a female for too long, I would like condemn myself mm. like, oh, man, yeah. I'm wild and I'm yeah. out here. So um, I think yeah. what's important is is in that. Um, you sharing your story, Kanye sharing his story, uh, or living his story rather, me sharing my story is, if, if, we can ex if we could have context of that, then we could extend the grace and the mercy and the truth to the Kanye's in our life. Yes, You know yes, what I mean? Because yes. there's gonna be people in your real life that had a legitimate encounter with Jesus, and what they don't need is to be told, you're not really saved, uh, you 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 faking it, you know what I mean? You got a demon, yeah. you got this, right? They need to be told the truth. Hey, like you shouldn't behave this way, and here's why. While at the same time, having mercy and grace and patience extended to them. Facts. I always say you need to definitely have a sober perspective of your own brokenness, your mm -hmm. own shortcomings, and and when you do, when you're aware of your own shortcomings you're a lot more gracious towards mm -hmm. other people yeah. and a lot more patient. I was a screw up, bro. My walk wasn't an easy one. It wasn't zero to 60. Mm -hmm. I know people that the Lord transformed within an instant mm -hmm. where my man took, he said he pulled over on the side of the highway, was crying, listening to worship music, grabbed his book of CDs, threw them out the window, hit every chick like, leave me alone, and went full fledged. And he's a pastor today. Mm -hmm. My story wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. I had so many idols that I'm just, guys like, give me, give me. And I'm yeah. like, okay, you can take that one, but I'm keeping this. Yeah. Give me, give me, give me. He kept on until my hands were empty. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? King Stream Entertainment. Bruce Lawn. Thank you for watching this. Again, mastermydevo.com. Get more clarity, context, and consistency in your devotional time, ultimately for life change. And we have our three-day master YouTube live challenge coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Peace.